Right, so we're ready to co computer science quiz. Computing, and we are going to see how we do at this. Okay, let's go. DPS. Who did work? Computer science, computing, let's go. True or false? A computer is an electronic device for storing and processing data. True. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! That's up! Perfect. When was the first modern computer created? Oh, it depends what we mean by modern! 35 to 37! Yay! Which of these is not one of the four functions of a computer? Input, output, storage, coding! Yes! What is the study of computers and computational systems? Computer science! Yes! The main reason for the study of computer science is to learn how to code, to learn how to type, to learn problem solving skills, to learn how to work on computers. Uh, problem solving? Yeah. When writing a computer code, what should your first step always be? Planning. Planning. Start writing the code. No. Rely on the... No. Determine what you want your final product to be. Yes. Fantastic. At the top, we're bossing it. When coding, sometimes you need to write a description of what your code does in plain language. What is that called? Like pseudocode are you talking about? Or shorthand pseudocode. Yes. We're on a streak. This is great. When coding, a mistake is called a computer bug. Yeah. Streak. Answer A. Why were errors in coding called bugs? Because there was an actual bug in the machine on the first one. A moth. It was found in a computer in the 1940s. True story. It was stuck to the bug report. What was the name of the first coding language used to program a computer? Oh, assembly. Are we talking about that? Oh. Fortran. Yay. Out of those options. Fantastic. Uh, this is a skill set for solving complex problems and a necessity for full, fully participating in the computational world. Yeah. Note cars, computational thinking. Yeah, at the top, as you might expect. Which one of these is not a part of computational thinking? Uh, abstraction decomposition construction. True false, you need to use computational thinking while you are coding in computer science. Uh, well, yeah, but you should have already done the thinking beforehand, really, but yeah, I, I get where you're coming from on that one. True or false, you will use computational thinking every day. Oh, definitely true, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Look at that. 14 streak on it. 14 out of 14. Shima... Got third place. Robin, second place. I wonder who's first. 14 out of 14. Yay! 14 out of 14. Love it. Runs up Nancy and Mal. Fab! So that was a good computer science quiz. You were in first place with 13,283 points. So computer science computing, pretty nice fun quiz. Um, including some key points that you would particularly learn kind of um, during high school, key stage three. So, um, well worth a look at, definitely. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more computing quizzes coming soon.